Hi there, I'm Brittany Stanton from Textile Indie. Today I want to share how to wet felt with wool. I'll go over the materials and tools you'll need first. To start out, have a towel, I have a terry cloth bath towel, a tub or dish tub for the water that you'll be using. I have a variety of different colors of wool here that I will be working with to felt. A spray bottle of water, some kind of dish soap, laundry detergent, or even shampoo would work. A bamboo mat. You can also use a piece of bubble wrap or um, tool that has large, that's a rougher tool, has large hole tool and a pair of rubber gloves if you want to keep your hands out of the water. You can start to get pruny hands and so sometimes gloves are nice to have. Okay, so that is the tools and materials we're going to start with. You want to be working with a hot water and a cold water. The hot water, you want to be at a temperature that you can still handle with your hands, but that is hot enough that it will react with the wool as you're felting. So go to a temperature that you can, um, to the hottest temperature you can stand with your hands. Okay, so fill up your water tub with warm water or hot water and come back. Okay, so now I'm going to lay out my towel in front of me and create a workspace. So I'll move my wools aside out of the way, put them to the side so that I can easily grab them and move things out of my space and set up the towel in front of you so you have a good workspace to work on. Okay, so now I've laid out my towel. I have my boiling or my hot, hot water here. Don't use boiling water, that'll burn you. But hot water here. And the spray bottle is full of cold water. So just know that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is lay out my bamboo mat on my um, towel. And then I'm going to start laying out the wool in tufts. So you can play around with the colors you're using. I have a variety of colors here. So I think I'm going to start with this green as the base. And this is a bit of batting or roving that I have here. So I'm just gonna take the end of my roving and kind of pull it out, tease it out so that I get a thin strip and just keep teasing it out to go across, across the bamboo mat here. And I'm creating a piece of flat felt here. So you're going to end up with a small rectangular piece of felt. So I'm going to continue adding tufts in layers here on the Matt, and I want the fibers to go all perpendicularly on the table. So I'm pulling them out, tufting them out, and then laying them down. And if you get a spot that's thicker than others, go in and spread it out a bit. And we'll be adding another layer going in the opposite direction. So these fibers are going this way. We'll add another layer going this way. So keep laying them out. I'll go in and fill in some of the thinner spots here. Okay, so now I have a square of fiber going in one direction, fill in this part right there. Now I'm going to put fibers going in the opposite direction. So I'll come in and lay them in. And I'm going in a grid pattern. So I'm doing a row and then a row right next to it and then a row following that. Kind of overlapping the rows a bit as I move from left to right. And stacking them on top of that first layer that I created.
Okay, and then if you see any bald spots or thinner spots, go in and replace or add more wool there. Okay, so now I have this nice fluffy pile of wool here in my square, and I'm going to take this spray bottle and do a quick spray down just over the surface of the wool, adding some moisture to press down the fibers. And I'll use my hands to gently touch it to press the water into the surface of the wool then tap your hands off on your towel so they're dry. And now I'm going to go in and do a different color. Let's do some purple. I'll do light purple in tufts over the surface of what I already have down. So this is more for decoration. So I'm just gonna put in a couple tufts here and there over the surface. like so. And these I'm adding at a diagonal. You could keep working in the grid going vertically or horizontally, but here I'm putting them in at the diagonal. More as a design feature than for the construction of the felt. Okay, so I can still see the green through there. just doing patches of purple. And then I'll add some, let's do some, some of this coral, just in little pieces. Add it over. And then I'll add some going in the other direction. So I'm just layering it on playing around with the colors, kind of making layers of colors that will show through as you do the felting. And then last, I'll use some blue, just do small bits of blue here and there. Like doing polka dots, little polka dot tufts of blue fiber. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, that's a little thick. There, we'll do that. Okay, so now set your fibers aside out of your way. And again, spray down the wool. I'm just going, moving around in a circle, and if will get stuck to you, just go and replace it. Going in a circle, spraying the whole surface of the wool. Now, one thing I forgot to mention in the tools and materials that you'll probably want is plastic wrap. So um, we'll use plastic wrap over the surface of the wool to begin the process of felting. So go ahead and grab that now. Okay, so bring a piece of plastic wrap over your wool, like so, and set the box aside. Okay, and then go in and press, press it down so that the water soaks through. And now I'm going to flip the bamboo mat. So I'm working from the back side now, and I have a sandwich of the plastic wrap with the wool in the middle and then the bamboo mat on top. Now peel the bamboo mat off if you can. Like so. And you're going to get this side of the wool wet as well.
Okay, and then press into the wool. And now fill your hand with some soap. I have foaming soap. You don't have to have foaming soap, whatever you have on hand. And go ahead and start to dab that into the surface of your felt and gently begin to move your hands in circles. And here I would suggest putting on the gloves if you um, want to protect your hands from all the water. Otherwise, just go ahead and go for it. So I'm going in, I'm gently creating circles, working on the wool while it's on the plastic wrap can be a little tricky because it wants to move around, but just be gentle with it and stretch it out every once in a while and it will work for you. So I'm moving gently across the surface doing small circles and then doing a couple circles in one spot and then moving down again in that grid pattern down the surface of the felt. And then just kind of doing a whole hand back and forth. And basically what we're doing at this point in the felting is starting to get the wool fibers to tangle together. So a felt is a pro felting is a process where you're taking the hot water and the soap and the cold water and you're working with friction to have all the the fibers of the wool tangle together to create a dense fabric. And so to do that, we're basically creating or using our hands for the friction to um, do the tangling of the fibers. So these circular motions begin to tangle the fibers on the surface of the felt and that eventually goes through the thickness of the felt and brings the fibers tighter and tighter together until you have a nice piece of felt. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift it up and flip it over on my piece of plastic wrap and do the same thing on the other side, just gently working around the surface of the felt. And then once the piece of felt starts to stick together so that you can lift it up and it holds together, you can remove your plastic wrap and set that aside and then bring your bamboo mat down and reset it back on your bamboo mat. And I'm starting to get some weak spots here where the wool is starting to get thin and I'm seeing holes. And I'll fix that by adding more fiber to the back, more of the green background fiber. Um, but first, working on this side, I'll go in and rub the surface with my hand. Working on the felting. Working in a circle. You can add in some hot water here. And this is why you have your towel on your surface because you're going to get water on the towel and on your surface. So I'm getting some pretty big holes here. I'll flip it over, dry my hands off on the side and go in and add more fiber. And I'm doing a patch process, so I'm just seeing where there's thin spots and adding fiber to those thin spots. Kind of alternating which direction you're putting the wool in. Okay, and then add some some of the spray bottle water, the cold water. OK, 
Okay, and then I'll tra train positions, and I'm going to roll this up into the bamboo. I'm going to roll it like this. Just gently roll it back and forth and rotate where you're holding it every couple of presses. And then once you've done that for a few seconds, open it up. Like so. Moving the fibers out of your way as they get caught in the bamboo, pressing them back onto the surface. And now rotate the piece of felt on your bamboo. I'm gonna add in some more soap onto the surface of the felt. Maybe sprinkle in some more hot water. And you can see the felt is beginning to form. The fibers are starting to twist together and create the fabric that we want as we're doing this, causing all this friction with the, your hands and the water and the soap. So keep working at it. Fill in spots, weak spots as you find them. See more holes go in and add more wool to those. Press them down with the soap and the water. Okay, and then roll it up again. This time going, we're going in the opposite direction of what we did before. So we had the felt laying, laying in this direction and then we swapped it around and we're going, we're rolling it in the opposite direction of what we did before. So now I'm doing more of an open roll here. You can roll it out a bit, then open it up, lay it back out. Got a little tangled here with that no, new wool I added. So I'll just lay that out flat again. Rub it into the surface. Roll up tight. Gently roll it. Rotate and roll. Rotate and roll. Okay, and then I'll open it out again. Starting to look good, flip it over and rotate it. And go again. <clears throat> rotate and roll. Rotate. So now your felt piece is starting to form. You can see it's slightly stretchy. I'm able to pull it apart a bit. So now I'm going to dump it in the hot water, totally immerse it in the hot water, like so, and gently lift it out. And now I'm going to dip and ball it up and squeeze it out. This is doing, um, causing more friction, more, more to the felting process. Kind of go until you've removed most of the soap suds and then move your water bin aside and lay it back out on your bamboo. And add more soap to the surface. And rub it in with your hands. In a circular motion again, just like we did at the beginning. 
And this is working from both sides because I'm adding friction with my hands to the surface, but the bamboo is also rubbing on the other side, causing felting to happen on both sides. And I'm adding quite a bit of pressure now as I'm, as I'm rubbing because the felt has formed enough that I can add pressure as I'm going and that adds to the friction and the felting possibility. And don't forget to catch the edges. If you have a piece that comes off and it just didn't attach, go ahead and pull that off. Add some water. And your felt will eventually end up being about half the size of what it was when you started laying the wool out. Okay, so my felt is starting to form. You can see it's beginning to shrink. So about half the size it was when we started. My hands are getting pretty pruney. <laughs> Stick it in the hot water and kind of swish it around a bit and squeeze it out. The squeezing, as you squeeze the water out of the felt here, you swish it around and then squeeze it like this, it adds, adds the felting. So it does, does some of the felting for you as you're just swishing it and squeezing the water out. And this is pretty messy, so it's best to work outside or somewhere in a kitchen or somewhere where um, getting water everywhere is okay. Um, I've even felt it in the bathtub before because it's an easy cleanup. Okay, once you've dunked it and squeezed all the water out a few times, move your water bin aside and let's do a couple more turns on the bamboo mat. You can see I'm not getting a ton of stretch as I pull, maybe a little bit, but not as much as I was at the beginning. And I have a little tail here, which I'll just cut off later. <clears throat> so add a little bit of soap to your surface. Once again, moving it around. and then roll it. Roll it and turn, roll it and turn until you have three or four rotations. Okay, 
then open it up, rotate the felt on the mat. Roll it up again. And that feels pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with how this feels. The surface is pretty dense. The stretch, there's some ease and stretch, but not too much. So put it in my water again to rinse off some of the suds, squeeze it out. The soap I'm using is super sudsy. Yours may not be as sudsy, depending on what type of soap you use. Um, so now go ahead and rinse this off in a sink. Get all of the sides out and meet you back here after you do that. Okay, once your piece of felt is washed out, you've wrung out most of the water, now you're going to allow it to dry. And felt takes a long time to dry because it's dense and will naturally dry slowly. So allow it to dry for 24 to 48 hours before using it. You can throw it in a dryer on uh, medium heat and um, just know that throwing it in a dryer will cause it to shrink a little bit more as um, it gets tossed around and the drying causes it to shrink a little bit more. So just be aware of that. But good job making your piece of felt and have fun creating items with it. You can make um, larger pieces like we did today using bigger piece of bubble wrap or bamboo mat larger pieces to create handbags or pieces of clothing um, or do art projects with. So I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more YouTube videos on fiber arts and check out textileindie.com and join my email list for updates on new YouTube videos and new blog posts that I put up on a regular basis. Thanks for watching.